Today we're here to check out the Dining Tab 75 from Epo Maker. Now, if you're the kind of person who really wants to put a stance on your, your setup, really wants to customize, throw your name out there, make the setup completely your own, this is gonna help you do that. So make sure to stick around. We're gonna check it out. We're gonna go over my thoughts. But first, let's talk about one thing coming up here in a bit. We have our next What Not show coming up on April 20th at 7 p.m. Eastern. Come join us. We're gonna be auctioning off and selling all sorts of things. Live chat, lots of fun, tons of giveaways. Make sure to check the links below and come join us. Now, let's jump into the main reason I want to check out this board. So I sit there for, for hours here and there every week, browsing all these different websites, checking out their boards, seeing what's new from Nufi, Epo Maker, Mel Geek. I'm just, I'm always curious looking around for the next innovation. Now, is this the next big innovation? Maybe not, but I really want to check it out. I like the quality of what I've gotten from Epo Maker so far, but there was a lot of uh, controversy. So Epo Maker funded this board here with a Kickstarter, and apparently there was, uh, there was some production issues right off the bat. From what I'm hearing through the discords, the Facebooks, the different forums and everything like that, it seems like a lot of it's been taken care of, but it was kind of a rough start for this board. So I just want to check it out from the standpoint of, is it a good board? How does it feel? Is it for you? Before we pop it open, let's check out the stats. All right, so coolest thing about this board, the dot matrix display. We'll get into that here in a little bit. It does have gasket mounting with a PC plate, Windows Mac compatible. Now I have had people in the past say, hey, Windows and Mac, will this work with my Chromebook? Yes, it'll work with Chromebook if you said it's Windows, just like most other keyboards. But personally, I'm not sure why you'd be running a Chromebook when you wanna buy a keyboard like this, because I'm pretty sure Chromebooks cost about the same price as this board. Now, that I'm not saying this board's expensive, I'm saying Chromebooks are very inexpensive. Here's the price of this board right up here. I believe they're coming in at about $130. All right, so next up it has three pin and five pin switches. So you can put in either layout you want, that's nice. Upgraded foam kits, type C, wired, Bluetooth, and 2.4 gigahertz. We've seen that a lot in the past from our, our Mel Geek, our new fees, our key moves, our dust silvers, we've seen that in a lot of different boards. It is nice to have. I like seeing the different options, you know, give people the options. All right, so this is a 75% triple mode gasket mounted mechanical keyboard. Triple mode being the wireless, wired, and Bluetooth, and then the dot matrix display is what we're gonna see up here. Now, we did open this briefly on our streams. Streams have been recently on Fridays. We're gonna be switching the dates up, but we opened this on stream. The first question everybody said is, how do you know where the keys are? We'll get to that here in a little bit. The keys are on there, they're labeled, don't worry about it. I promise they're on there. Whoa, she just popped on, we ain't supposed to see that yet. Sliding that back. Quite a nice little included cable. Let's check this out. It's, it's, kind of a, it's kind of a chonky boy cable. It's got this really nice uh, soft rubber feel to it. You have your USB type A cables with a little bit of a solid metal accent on there. Then over here you have your USB type C, orange inlay. I mean, it's, it's a nice touch. I like it. I like that these companies are starting to really go around the theme with these boards. Keycap and switch puller, nothing fancy, but it's there. This was covered in plastic when I first got it. And here we have the board itself. You know, this is throwing big old retro vibes at me. Go ahead and start by getting this peel off of here. All right, now let's start by keeping in mind this is a really neat looking board. It's got this whole screen on there. It's wired, it's wireless, Bluetooth, all that good stuff. And it is 130 bucks. Now, something to keep in mind, this is not quite available yet. This has been started on a Kickstarter. My personal feelings with Kickstarter, I would never use it. It's just a personal preference. I've heard too many horror stories. I don't wanna wait months for a product. So just to my audience, my best advice to you guys, wait for the product to come out. Wait for it to be available. Wait for it to be able to add into a cart, buy it on Amazon, something like that just for your own. So you don't have to worry about those long shipping times. And there's just, without going too deep down the Kickstarter rabbit hole, I love the idea of the platform. I just don't love how it's played out so far. All right, so jumping right in, uh, there are a couple couple small things that I, I, don't, I don't love. I do like the idea. I do like the look. I like the keycaps quite a bit. Let's take a peek at those. So if you look here, the keycaps are all labeled in the front. 
Not bad. Jumping around to the back here, we have two position adjustable feet. All right, so starting right here in the front, you have a button to control your digital display. You have your switch right out front for the 2.4 gigahertz wireless. The center one is gonna be wired, top one is gonna be Bluetooth. Now, if we pop this cap up, you're gonna see your USB dongle nicely stowed. A Little bit of a fitment issue here, I did notice. The cap, it's kinda of hard to see here in camera, but the cap does not fit perfect, so if small things like that bug you, keep that in mind. The overall around the sides, it's very simplistic. So if you're looking for a very simplistic yet bold statement, this is gonna be it. You got a USB type C right here on the top. Now, just to bring it up, I know this is a cheaper board, but I feel like this is something we shouldn't quite have in a board of this level. Check this out. This board has quite a bit of flex. Just something to be aware of. Again, full disclosure, Apple Maker did send me this board, but it doesn't mean I'm just going to be like, hey, this is amazing, go buy it. I want to show the overall points. I feel like this board is for a pretty specific niche, but I'm, I am noticing some quality control issues here. The flex of the board. Now, take a look at this. I put the cap on here, and without trying to take it off, it's already loose. So we'll, we'll kind of keep an eye on it. I think it's because I flexed the board, but a little more board flex than I would like to see even at this price point. So right here is where you're gonna see kind of the, the main gimmick, the main aspect to this, right? You're gonna be seeing this nice pixelated screen here, but let's go ahead and plug it in. Let's check it out. Let's see exactly what you can do with this guy. Something else I'm noticing, a lot of these keyboards we have that are made for Windows and Mac, I'm not seeing a specific key switch here to switch between those. Just something to keep in mind. So right here in the program, we have all sorts of different settings. Yeah, you can, you can change everything. You can add macros. But what we're most interested in checking out right now is the screen. So you can go through, you can set color, all sorts of custom parameters. Then you also have the option to save different configurations in the bottom right. So just for something fun here, you can just add in pretty much whatever you want. You click upload. And then it just kind of does what you want. It's a little more complex. If you want it to go really well, you need to add frames customize, adjust all sorts of things. It's definitely a cool idea, a little gimmicky, sure, but it's cool. Now I can see a lot more usefulness for having your clock and date set here. Uh, it does automatically synchronize. It is using long format time, which you can change. I think it would be extremely useful to have this set up to show time, date, stuff like that. That's a lot more useful for me than just showing off in a setup. The screen is bright without being too bright. You can click through a couple different things here, as well as showing like CPU usage. If you're running certain games and trying to figure things out, that could be extremely useful. As well as clicking through all these different presets you have here. But if I were to use this one on a daily basis, this would probably be what I set it up for. Maybe I'll set up a little computer. We'll have this one mounted on the wall behind us and it'll always show the date and time I'm recording because sometimes I'm recording these videos at like one or 2 a.m. Today, not too bad. Let's jump into the uh, let's jump into the type test. Let's see how she sounds. See how she looks. All right, we're going to be using Type Monkey for this, as per usual. You guys can see I still have the old one up here. Okay, I did pretty horrible, but a lot of that's on me. Um, the layout of this is a little different. It's a little bit tighter of a key setup than I'm used to, but the typing on it did feel nice. I didn't notice a lot of the flex in the board. Now, if I was playing games, I probably would. You know, it's not, it's not by any means a bad sounding board. It sounds good. I feel like it could use a little bit of help. So let's just take a peek and see what we have under here. Since they sent this to me, I didn't exactly get the specs on which switches I have. These are definitely a linear switch made by Epo Maker. Looks like they're mint line. All right, just getting a much closer up shot here. We get a better look at what's going on. So here you can see they are, they're self firing LED switches 
You can see them mounted right on the board below there. You can also see some gasket material right underneath. This also gives you a better idea on where the letters are in the keycaps. So I'm kind of in the middle about this one. You guys let me know what you think about this. Now, more importantly, if you've already pre-ordered or had a Kickstarter issue or curiosity, please let me know down below. I'd like to hear the stories. I want to understand more about people are going through with that kind of stuff. This is not a bad keyboard, but it definitely has some room for improvement. You know, I'd like to see some of the fitment issues fixed. Now, maybe the one they sent me is different than what you're going to get. I'm not sure. I like the color. I like the look. I like the simplicity and I like the ability to use the screen. But in the end, I've shown you guys what I can see. Let me know your opinions on this. I'm very curious. I'm a little mixed on this board. I definitely don't hate it, but I don't think it's gonna jump right into the setup either. All right, so we're gonna be streaming tomorrow, April 14th, 7 p.m. Eastern. It's not our normal time. I'm still trying to work that out with the normal work schedule. So if you like this kind of content, like, subscribe. Make sure to go check out some of our other videos here and here. Until then, we'll see you guys on the next one.